More bullets, thank you. I appreciate it. The fuck? Oh! Uh-uh. Hang on, I gotta stay right with this. Oh! Oh! Oh my- hey, uh, Hang on, bitch. That's the woman that we just saw in the picture right there. The madame. The bitch you want to open the door. Her. That's her, I think. Y'all see that? Tell me y'all don't see that so that way I don't see it. Cause I don't know what I'm looking at. Hey guys, it's Dita Kwan Don and today we are playing Alone in the Dark. So I'm very excited about this. This is one of the games that I was looking forward to. That was supposed to come out this year and here it is, it's out. Um, so I don't know much about this game. I know that it is basically a remake. Um, I think there are like three original games and I think this is the first one. Basically we travel to a manor and we just have to explore it because I think we're looking for the disappearance of Emily's uncle. And this game took place in the 1920s. Um, I don't know how to feel about this but I am excited about this. This looks fun. Um, I barely see any gameplay, I only seen a little bit a clip from I saw a trailer and I saw a clip from the prologue. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and let's begin with Alone in the Dark. So I don't know which one I wanna choose, the modern or old school. Cause ain't nothing wrong with a hint every now and then, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm assuming the hint's gonna come if you've been stuck on a certain area for a very long time. Then like the character probably see like a hint. And a hint isn't technically, it's helping you but not, it's not like it's solving it for you. You know like if it's a puzzle. So I, oh I don't know, shout out. Uh... Oh, I, I don't know. I, you know what? Let's, you know what? Let's do old school. You know, cause I'm playing on medium, so maybe I don't need that much. Well, let's, let's, let's do old school. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> that frog, ugly. My goodness. Or toad. What? A, ugh. No. Oh. I'm not sure if that's an alligator or a crocodile. I can't tell the difference apart. Alone in the dark. Yes. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. We know him from Stranger Things. He says yes. a dark man is following him. She looked familiar too, though. Him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Hmm. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Oh. So is so is she gonna grow mad? But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? She sounds very nonchalant. Just in his head. <laughs> it's a she story does. he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. 
Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. We're here already? I didn't expect us to jump quickly into the manor. Like, I didn't expect that. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Hmm. Did you bring a gun? Oh. Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly okay. are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. So we gotta choose a character. Uh... I gotta go with, um, the detective. Yeah, I have to, I have to go with the detective. Because he has a gun. And because his character seems more interesting. No offense to her. She just sounds so nonchalant, you know? Like, I think I'd rather, like, explore this, ma this manner with him, you know? Yeah, I'm just a ham. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. I'm shocked we can't play as both, honestly. Like, we'll just, like, switch between the two. I'm shocked. Also, yep, so it is chapters, okay. Ooh, and I did not- I did not put a prologue. Uh, okay, well, I'm assuming that you probably didn't have to play the prologue. You know, I'll probably just watch the prologue at this point. I'll probably just watch it. I want to right stop him right here, going to play a prologue, and then come back. So I'll just watch it, it's fine. Look for a way inside, okay. It's funny because I have it on no hints, so. Let's see. Oh, yes, we got a gun. Ooh, a flashlight? You know what we got here? Oh. Okay, a flashlight, a clue. Okay. Kitchen garden key. Hmm. Okay. Yep, okay. See, I think if I ever do go to like the forest, a uh, forest, a forest or something, and go exploring, I'm gonna want a flashlight like this, because I don't think I will want to hold it the whole time. Because I think I will want to hold a gun or a taser instead. Because I don't, uh, I just want to be ready. Like, not gonna lie. Uh, because I have it on no hints, so I have to like, like really look around. Oh! Oh yes, pistols. Um, bullets. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Is this a cat? Oh! I'm just gonna leave that cat or whatever that thing is in there. Nah, I'm 
not getting in there. Okay, we need a key for that. So far this game looks, it feels like a Resident Evil game, kind of. I would feel like it probably feel more like a Silent Hill game. And I never played Silent Hill. So, okay, we have to go down there. But Silent Hill is on my list though. I kind of want to play the original, the second one, before the remake comes out. I just want to experience it, you know, like the original. But it depends on when it comes out. Oh! One big ass tree. Hang on, let's see what that, um... Do we have to go down there? Oh wait, no. Okay. What the hell is that? Okay, we need probably like a rope or something to get that. Can't use. Can't turn this on somehow. Ah, huh, okay. Maybe the water off. Housekeeper's key. Okay. Oh, the sound. Oh, okay, it's all in my ear. What? Yes. Find the front door and let Emily inside. I hear footsteps. I, I heard some moving. Okay, I drink. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Don't mind if I do. I'm assuming those heels probably. They probably yeah, they, yeah, they probably gotta be. See, I, I keep, I, it's like, I, I keep telling y'all, I'm not sure if y'all notice, I guess, um, I say it in any video that has rats, I don't like rats. I don't, anytime I hear one in the game or see one, I always think it's one in the room with me. I feel uncomfortable. Like, if it's like a, like, if it's something that's like, uncommon, being in, like, in your house with you, like a snake or something, but, but, I mean, like, unless you stay in like a, like, um, like Australia or something. Then that's that's uncommon, right? Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. Mm -hmm. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have oh. long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. 
I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. Mm. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Any of you. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay, um, I don't know what- I don't- do not, I do not know what any of that means, but it, it's fine. Okay, more bullets, that's always appreciated. Thank you. Okay, that's everything in here. Hmm. Kitchen surprisingly looks alright. Okay, we get a lot of bullets. I uh, see in the game, that always means a boss fight coming. But this is this is early on. Okay, so I, I definitely heard something right there. I definitely did. See, we get too many bullets. We is a boss is coming. The fuck is this? You know, not gonna lie, it look it looked kind of good. I don't know. It looked like I've been sitting there for a while, but it looked kind of good. It looked like stew. Okay, there's everything in here. Ugh. But we can't go that way, so let's go this way first. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to go that way. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Where I said don't, it said don't touch it. That doesn't look safe. Hmm. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, so I don't think we can touch it. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything right here. Okay, so we need a handle and we need huh. two more pieces of this. And then we have to probably like move it around, maybe. Okay, that's more bullets. Okay, so we have to come back to this, okay. I don't like how slow he opened that door. I don't appreciate it. Ugh. Okay, that's a... Uh... Oh. Okay, so these things we got to we have to collect. Is there something for the uh Nope. 
so I was looking for something for like the boiler. I don't think that's it. Uh, log nappers are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes ship. Uh, carry over from game to game. Some sets can even be completed while playing both. Okay. Oh. So it is like Resident Evil. Well, Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2, you can beat the game just by playing one character. But you also gotta play the other person's side. Oh. Okay, so I'm playing his side first. Okay, I mean, okay. I'll play her side too. As long as it's different, you know. If it's like the same thing, but with her, no. Okay, none in there. I need the key. Okay, for that we need a key. Okay, well, now I have to go upstairs. That's, uh, real, real nice. See, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not. Okay, that's locked. Yeah. Look at this old fashioned toilet. See, now I think about it, I'm glad they moved it down because ain't that dangerous as hell? Ugh. If anything, they should put that on the side. I don't know. That. Let's see. Oh, yes, we can kind of see ourselves. Kind of. Not too much, though. Let's get someone purse. I will check this, you know, like to see if there's money in it. Um, okay, we went that way. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dercito? Floor plants? Uh, oh, yep, yeah, yes, okay, I love when games do this. So, Resident Evil 2 did it, so, like, whenever you, like, a room completed, it turns a certain color. So that way, like, we know that's, like, um, that the room completed, you know? I like that. I do. Like, real, like, in real life, that wouldn't work, obviously, but... Because I guess we have to constantly look around each room or whatever. But, I like this. I, I do. I, I like this. Where are we? You're right, you're right there. Okay. Ah, uh, we got a key now. Okay. Uh, okay, so this key does not fit that, okay. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. Mm -hmm. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. All right, um. Okay, we gotta let her in. Let her in. I wanna search. Yeah, I wanna search more like, just in case. Now, let's see. Maybe I can't let her in. Wait, is she right here? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, no, okay. I need the key. 
and go upstairs. Let's go upstairs first. It's wedged shut. Hmm. Hmm. Looks important. Yeah, it's probably a shotgun in there, a shoddy. All that stuff in there, probably. Hang on, what key we have? Decetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpet beggar called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. I don't appreciate it, like, narrating what's, what's happening. Because if a twist happens, you know what? I don't say that. I thought she knew me right here. I really thought she was. Hang on, don't we have a key though? How do I see things that I have? No, that's not it. Uh, you know, I'll pick it up. Okay, let's go right here. I need the key. I guess we don't have the key, okay. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises oh, tariffs on over 20,000 imported <laughs> goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. Mm. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Mm -hmm. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place oh, where the you place can go we to are rest. now. Okay. The patient list is kept secret, That's nice but ought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately, it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Okay, that's a whole lot. Rubber stamp. Unlocks the shot shotgun cabinet. Ooh. So I was right. There's a shotgun in this game. Hmm. I need the key. Why some flies over here? The fuck? Oh! 
Yep, you know what? Time, 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 time to go. <laughs> Give me. I want to leave. I want to leave right now. Yeah, that was that side. Let's. Oh, that's the front door. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh. Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about mm. all this, but I'm looking well, maybe, for well, maybe, oh, maybe if you answer the door. And no one was answering the door. Right. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. She's from a prologue, by the way. Your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Why? Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. Right. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. No, I'm We're not sorry. Going to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> it's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. I mean, she's family, she, in she the can't. Corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Look at this weird place. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can dig up any clues. All right. Search Jeremy's room for clues. There's a lock box. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father? This is five pages, by the way. for his life. Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Mm. Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terraweya? Oh, I want that more than anything. 
Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel. A lot of voodoo home. things in this game. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. So, I want to say that the voice acting in this game is fire. So, it makes me want to listen more, you know? Because a lot of games, a lot of games didn't have a word that is per a person reading it, you know? It's like we have to read it ourselves, which is, I guess, fine. But I think it should also be an option to have someone read it. I don't know. It, it'd be cool, I think. It will like, I think, bring you more into the story in a way. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine? In conversation. The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. I would not be shocked that everyone that we saw so far is crazy. I would not be shocked. And I think they is honestly. I don't think I think the only two people who aren't wait it, That's the woman that we just saw in the picture right there. The madame. The bitch you want to open the door. Her. That's her, I think. Hmm. I would not be shocked that everybody be running into is crazy. I would not be shocked. I even even the little girl. Even a little girl, I would, not be shocked. I would not be shocked if she crazy. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. The dark man? I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pack. Everyone is safe, except for me. Aww. Okay, so there's definitely a clue. A painted wooden towel. The... Motif suggests this being part of a larger picture. Huh. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, over here. Hey. I should like doing those. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I I don't I do not know how I feel about her yet. I don't know. It's gonna be a rough playing this, I'm pretty sure. I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Oh, striking. He, he definitely looks Let crazy. See this one. Is that him? Because he looks crazy in that picture. He looked like he saw something. He's terrified. Oh. Alright, come on. 
want to go see Dr. Gray. Hmm. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I like her. <laughs> I I don't think I do. So I'm off with her. Miss Hartwood. Emily. Not see. Ah. Uh -huh. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Yep, there's voodoo involved. Mm hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Investigate the corner store. Hang on. Detective Khan. Oh, wait. Go ahead and read it. Detective Khan couldn't believe his eyes. The French Quarter scene before him was dark and sinister. The only sign of life he could see from Jeremy's balcony was the light coming from a lone corner store. Okay, that's uh Okay, yeah, let's go outside. Let's do that. So my gun? Yep, okay good. More bullets, thank you. I appreciate it. The fuck? Oh! Uh-uh. Hang on, I gotta stay right with this. Oh! Oh! Oh my- uh, Hang on, bitch. Where your friend at? He had a friend, I don't know where he went. He definitely had a friend. His friend saw his ass get clapped up and he left. That's nice. I can't go that way. Okay, I'm just looking around. Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. <laughs> okay. I think I'll hold it to like hold it and now let go. Okay, so that, that is health. Okay. Cause I, cause I, I low key like did I, like I didn't know for sure in a way. I can't go that way. Is he a friend or foe? Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? Don't tell me this like an Alan Wake situation. Don't tell me we're in a story. Jeremy Don't tell me this. We didn't think much of it. Don't tell me this, because I already have I'm problems Detective Edward with that Carnby. game. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh yeah? How much you paying you? Hundred and fifty dollars. That sounds like so little. <laughs> She's so getting home. Back then, it was a lot, though. Are you a thinking man, gone bad? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The mm. talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know, surprising things, gone bad. Yeah, the mama lower. 
Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. Thank you. Have a look. I thought I thought he closed that door and he was gonna clap our cheeks. That's what I thought. Okay, we have to get some keys. Uh, there are three keys on this chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to okay. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay. Hmm. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's probably everything in here, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. Y'all see that? Tell me y'all don't see that so that way I don't see it. Cause I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not am to throw. Oh wait. So I'll hold it. Okay. Okay, so I guess I can't just keep it, you know. I can't like store it on me. Wait, can I? Can I just store it? No, okay, I can't. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I have no idea. Here? Yeah. Ooh, an axe. Ooh, yes. I can't go that way. No, I want to swing this bitch. I want to swing this axe. How do I? Okay. Ah, okay, I get it. Yes. I think I'll do like a shot and then hit, right? I think I'll do that. But the first one, I want to see how long it takes to kill them with axe. Okay, this looks like some voodoo stuff. It, it do. Oh. I'll get better at that. I'll, I'll get better. It sounds like one's close. Okay, yeah, let's go upstairs because I'm not gonna deal with this thing. I'm not. Oh! Come, bitch, bring her downstairs. Bring that ass downstairs. <gasps> no. Uh. Oh, 
Back up. I'm mad as hell. Uh, axe broke. Ain't that some shit? I'm mad as hell. You, you know what? No. Oh, I forgot. See, I was, I was trying to hit us out with the axe that I broke. Bitch. Who's in here? Well, I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if... Oh, I had not made through that. That's fine. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Okay, um, an old tal talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of, a, of the numbers looked to be less than 100 years old. But the base could be from whatever I were to say. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Huh. Okay. Use the talisman to get back to okay. The streets though. I don't know how to pronounce that, I don't. I think it's meant for the talisman. I have no idea which way it goes. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. I it was. I don't know which one. It wasn't this. Uh, it starts. Wait, it's a start. Three, five, eight. Is that? Is, can you do it like that? Um, uh, so I guess three is. Wait, can I? Okay, three right there. Okay, and then five. Uh, so I guess maybe the first one doesn't matter. So like this one part doesn't matter, maybe? with the black sunstone uh, those numbers need to span a bridge between this this script wait huh the scapes of dream and memory okay let me see maybe could he there is his notes Okay, um, so, okay, I'm looking at it, and it's, okay, so, I, like, I kind of wish I could zoom in, uh, so, three, and then it's two, and three again. Hey, 
hang on, maybe it's... Hang on, let me... Maybe, yeah, maybe it's like this. Maybe I don't have to look at the thing at all. I just gotta match it like this. Just, nope, that's not it, okay. Is this, is this not it? It seems like this would be it, bro, right? Oh, but maybe, maybe this way? I'm trying to figure this out without looking at the notes too much. This seems like it fits. Come on now. Is that it? No. Okay. Uh. Okay. Nope. Wrong one. Okay. I get the three five eight thing. I get that. But it's also is numbers outside of three five eight. You know, like, huh? So five three two. So these isn't in order then. What well, this one is? Oops, uh, okay, let's see. Is it like that? No. Uh. Whew, okay. I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get it. If the, if the puzzle like this, I probably got to toggle that uh, the other thing back. Um, the hints, I probably got to toggle that back on, cause I don't get this. Cause I'm going based on how it like how is it looked like it's supposed to fit, which is, I mean, basically like this, honestly. Even look like this in a picture, so that's why I'm trying to. Okay, he said Jeremy's notes. I know dang well he don't mean reading all this again. Let me try to skim through it real quick. Uh. It, yeah, it's this one. You know what? Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna mimic how it looks. Okay. Okay, so three was... It was like this. Then five. The 
think is there is no five on here. I guess five must be right here. Like this. <laughs> I ba I basically mimicked it. Mimic how it's supposed to look. I'm gonna try it this way then. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm starting to get I'm starting to get annoyed. I am. I'm starting to get annoyed. Unless I post the the three, it's supposed to be on like the board itself. But that, that it still makes sense though. Cause in the picture it's showing one, two, three. It's showing three things you can move, and right here is three things. I think it needs numbers. Like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. See, I I looked and I didn't I don't get it. That's the problem. Unless it's supposed to like this, that's not it either. Okay. Oh, I, I don't get this one. I, I don't. This this is hard as hell. Oh, is that it? Not me doing my random. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? I wonder what I said. Huh. Hang on. Can I see it again? Because. Look, I don't appreciate that door glowing. Yeah, okay, so I just did that random as hell. Um. I don't like that puzzle. I said, I said. I said what I said. I don't. Detective, I was oh. wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Mm -hmm. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, In the West. voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dosetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low I won't drink anything in that bed, I'm sorry. Detective. Unless it's fresh Let water. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? And how? Here, try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. He crazy for drinking that. He crazy it's as hell. The sidecar. 
The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. Mm. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. That bitch. Chapter 2. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Alright guys, so that was chapter 1 of Alone in the Dark. So this is Eddie's. Um, I'm calling him Eddie. Or Ed. I don't know. Um, this is Eddie's side, I guess. Um, I'm unsure if um, Emily's side is gonna be like drastically different. I'm pretty sure it is. So at at that at, I mean at that point I'm gonna play her side after. Um, but so far th this story is interesting. It is. I can't wait to get jump more into this and see what happens next. Cause I don't think this game is long, but I think I think since we play as both characters, it's gonna make the story like longer than what it is and i think um i think that playing both we're gonna get a different ending after we play the second half possibly i mean um i don't know or, or like two different endings who knows but yeah i can wait to play more of this so like subscribe other good stuff and that's about it with today's video i back more of this and other games i haven't touched in a while so stay safe to quarter be a person and that's about it with today's video peace